Once you've set up your tablet, it's very easy to check your email if you have a Gmail account. In fact, when you start the device for the first time, you input your Gmail information and that automatically connects you to your Gmail mailbox. Now at the bottom right hand corner of my screen, I've got a little Google Apps folder. When I tap it, it opens up all my Google applications and there's my Gmail. When I tap that, it opens up my Gmail account and I can see all of my emails. But what if I don't want to use Gmail for my main email account? If I tap that circle with the grid, it takes me to all of my applications and there's one called email. So tap and hold, move that to the desired location and then release your finger. Tap it once to open your email account and you will have to put in your email information. Now depending on whether it's a POP account or whether it's an IMAP account and these are things that you may need to get help with. I'm going to add account because I'd like to check my iCloud account. I've also got an iPad and I use iCloud a lot for my email. So I'm going to try and find my iCloud account. Now if you've got an older iCloud account, you also had a me account. That is your name at me.com. This still works. So your me account is actually your iCloud account. If you type in your email address and your password at me.com or at mac.com, it will work. So type in your email address, type in your password, and then click on the done button and it should start working. So here's my email account. It's got my email address and my password. Let's tap the next button and it should check my email account and set it up for me if there's no problem. And there it is. I'm not going to check my email box every 15 minutes. That would use up my battery. I'd like to make this my default account. So whenever I send email from this device, it will use this account. Tap the next button. You can give the account a name that you want. So I'm going to do that. Tap the next. I'm done with that. Tap the next button there. And now it's going to wait for my sync. So here's my mailbox. It's a complete copy of my Mac account. Any mails that I read on another device will show up here as being read. If I want to remove a mail from here, it will remove from my other devices. So tap that email, tap the trash can, and it deletes that mail. Tap that one again, it deletes that mail. You can also tick several emails, and then you can put those in the trash can too. If you want to sync your mail, because we've set this up to be manual sync, there's a button at the top right hand corner here. And it will then refresh your mail and download any new mail that you need. We've also got our settings button here. where We can go through our settings and we can check and choose certain settings. So your account name, your signature, don't forget to change your signature so that it makes sense to other people. Then you can tap OK and that's now a signature which is going to be appended to all the emails that come from this account. So do you want to auto download attachments? Do you want to be notified when a new mail arrives? And you can always go back and change the settings. For example, how often it, it checks, is it automatically checked and so on. So we can check every 15 minutes if we want, or we can set that back to never, in which case you have to manually update. 
tap the home button to go back home and you might notice that my email account is not on my home screen so I can add that tap and hold email choose the location for that release and it's now on my home screen